Hi guys, we're gonna be making a cornbread pudding that even a three-year-old can make. It's so quick and easy. I don't like Jiffy by itself, but I like Jiffy in other stuff, like the Jiffy sweet potato pie she made, and I think, not sweet potato pie, Jiffy sweet potato bread, and then she made a Jiffy pumpkin bread, and it was good. So now we're gonna make this Jiffy cornbread, and I don't wanna just tell you, the first time I tried this, I had to make it. It is just so, so good. And this will be your first time trying it, Ava, right? <laughs> so everything is just a dump and mix. So we're going to start off with eggs. Two of them. I already cracked them and everything. Ava's going to beat them a little bit in the pan. Mix them. And they're gonna go into the oven at 350 for like 45 minutes. Okay, that's enough. Now we're gonna hold it, hold it to, yes. Hold it, put it down right there. We're gonna add the um, Jiffy cornbread meal. You can't look, just poke. All right. And then we're going to Add the sour cream. You got it? I had told her she's going to help me a little bit make the thing, and she talking about, but Mima, she calls me Mima, I want to cook a lot. So we in here together. So that's in there. Now we're going to dump a can, yes, a can of cream corn, the whole can. So you see where the pudding coming in at. I'm telling you, now don't go home replacing this with your cornbread that you're gonna be making for dressing or whatever. Make it and have it to the side and you will be surprised of how many people really will enjoy it. But you know, people don't like you messing with the, um, <laughs> the dinner for Thanksgiving, but you can add, just don't add it to the food. And this is a can of, whole kernel corn drained. Is everything out? And I have washed the, I washed the top of all the cans we used here. And last but not least is one stick of melted butter, salted butter. I like the saltiness, saltiness from the butter because it are all sweet offset some of the sweetness from the jiffy. And I wanted to add a touch to it. My own little spin on it. And I usually wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time. We're gonna add, get some more, two tablespoons of sugar. That's it. I've seen some people putting the whole cups and half cups. That's just a bit much for me. And now we're gonna mix this. She needs some assistance, just a little. But it's really simple. How many things we use? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that was a box of Jiffy cornbread mix, a can of cream corn, a can of whole kernel corn, one stick of melted butter, two tablespoons of sugar, and one cup of sour cream. So let me mix this really well, Eva. I don't want to mix it too long. Aw, I love you too. We had a little upset before we got started. Right. And the reason they call it a pudding, I see some people slicing it and taking out the thing, but it's so soft and so moist, usually you dip it with a spoon. So this is a look at how it looks. And now let me get the pan. I think I should spray this. No? Whatever comes out. Whatever I got in here, that's what I want. You talking. 
I'm trying to spray this, but I don't think nothing's in it. Oh, it's a little bit. I don't think I need it because of all the um, butter that is in this, but better safe than sorry. You want to write that in there? You know, it's good to start the kids in the kitchen early because when they get ready to move away, they can cook for themselves. And you need somebody to carry on that family tradition of cooking the Thanksgiving dinner and I want my grandchild to remember what what my food tastes like. Okay. It look good, don't it, Ava? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a rectangle. Yes, it's a rectangle. So that's how it's looking here. We're going to put this in the oven for 45 minutes. Set The temperature is going to be set at 350 degrees. Now, we'll be back with the word. Welcome back. <clears throat> I have the word. We'll be coming from Numbers, chapter 6, verse 24 to 27. And it's the priestly blessings. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. And in the living version, it says, living translation, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace. This is how Aaron and his son will designate the Israelites as my people. And I myself will bless them. I love him. I love him. I love him. Hi guys, we're back and the corn bread pudding is finished. I'm taking it out the oven. Look at it. It's pretty. And you can spread butter on top of this with some honey. Mm, more sugar. But we're gonna let it cool down just a little and then we're gonna come back and taste it. Cause you're supposed to, hi, stand back. You're supposed to eat it when it's warm. So we'll just let it cool down a little bit cause you know, we don't wanna burn up no mouth. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, we are back and we're ready for the taste test. Now, this cornbread pudding is soft. So you can slice it and get sliced out of it, or you could just dip it with a spoon because it's not its not like a, a cornbread that's going to hold itself. So I'm going to use the spoon. And I put my, you can put it in a dip, deeper casserole put, dish, but I wanted mine not so deep. Yeah, I had to cut it to ruin it. I made some quick chili, just a quick chili uh -huh. to eat with this because in my mind, I felt like chili would go really well. Yeah. But you can put some butter and honey on this and call it a day. It is a great side for the holidays. Really good. Mm. Mm. It is good. So good. Another thing you can do with yeah. chicken cornbread. It's not too sweet. No. You can put more sugar if you want it sweet though. Mm -hmm. I don't like sweet, sweet. This is the perfect amount. Yes, it's delicious. Mm. It's good. So guys, 
We want to thank you for stopping by and watching our video. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and this what? Like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is good. Yeah. You've got to give this a try. It's good.